African cities have some of the most outstanding street art in the world with themes based on African tradition, culture, norms, the people and their struggles. In Sudan, young graffiti and visual artists have painted public walls expressing hope for democracy after the 28 December, 2018 December Revolution. CDTN Zawab Khadin reports from Sudan's capital, Khartoum. A loss younger protester, a revolution slogan, or a patriotic leader. These paintings in Khartoum are inspired by years of instability in Sudan. Whatever people feel, they paint on these walls. It's a healthy cultural practice to express different feelings like anger, hope, and people's aspirations. It helps in building a collective memory and unified goals in the communities. Before 2018, Graffiti and wall portraits were forbidden and could lead to jail terms for artists. But after the ouster of longtime ruler Omar al Bashir in 2019, groups of Sudanese artists decided to document history through street art campaigns. The street art in Sudan is very recent. In the streets of the capital, it's popular to see portraits of the victims of the protests and December Revolution icons, or portraits praising unity and celebrate the diversity of Sudan. The art pieces stir different emotions among the ministerians. It means a lot to me. When I see the paintings, I remember the spirit of the revolution and the change we are pursuing. It's beautiful and good to see those paintings everywhere in Sudan. It's an easy but powerful way to express and send messages without the need for words. The portraits are praising values like peace that we need now in this critical time for Sudan. Sudan is going through a stalled transition amidst political and security challenges. The majority of people who live here believe that street art can help bring people together. Naba Muhyiddin, CGDN, Khartoum, Sudan.